Mr. Dhawal Ajmera, the director of the company, joining us now. Uh, Dhawal, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Well, quarter one update was really strong for you. You're sitting on a base of 400 crore rupees in terms of quarterly bookings. Collections were up, uh, coming in at 210 crore rupees. How has quarter two panned out so far for yourself and say the industry as well? Because of the rate hikes that we are talking about, more are expected. Are you seeing any dip in demand or will you continue with this strong momentum that you saw? Uh, so, hi. Uh, well, uh, quarter one was absolutely a great momentum and run for us, primarily because we had a great launch of our project at uh, Vadala, Ajmera, Manhattan. Uh, going forward, uh, in the next few quarters, we are seeing uh, sustained growth. Obviously, it can't be as great as what we saw the first quarter, but because that was primarily because of our great launch. And But overall, we are seeing, you know, good numbers coming. Uh, well, the demand has been, uh, uh, you know, pretty strong. We are seeing sustained uh, uh, demand coming in all these projects. And overall, the sales are looking good. So, yes, it will be a good number, but uh, obviously we can't compare it to a quarter one because that was a jump due to uh, great sales. Okay, so the Q1 run rate actually. is not sustainable. How much of this Ajmera Vadala project have you sold already or pre-sold as it's called? Uh, and do you have any other launches in FI23 which can give you that bumper boost to sales? Uh, we uh, we are uh, looking at, uh, you know, the Vadala sales is being uh, overall the tour. Uh, Ajmera Manhattan is about 1500 crores of top line uh, from which uh, we have done, uh, you know, overall about 20-25% of pre-sales right now. And uh, we are looking at uh, good numbers coming in the next uh, few quarters as well. Uh, going forward, we have a few launches coming up uh, that is uh, in pipeline where we recently acquired our uh, Ghatkopar land, uh, which will also come up for uh, you know uh, sales in this probably financial year. And uh, other projects is uh, the Juhu one, which we have uh, you know just started the construction and we should be able to launch very soon. So overall, we are looking at few uh, projects which will be under sales and uh, uh, announcements and obviously that will give us a good number well, obviously uh, we are looking at sorry in fi23 what are the launches so we in fi23 we are looking at three to four launches still uh, mm -hmm. two being uh, uh, at uh, uh, ghat Koper and one at uh, uh, juhu Okay, so Dhawal, you said that 20 to 25 percent of uh, project, that is Manhattan project, has been sold. Do you not expect that to continue in, say, next few quarters as well? And that is something which could make the quarterly run rate stable for you, say, around 300 crore rupees, if not anything else. And in that scenario, what would your FI23 overall booking growth look like? Well, uh, see, we are definitely looking at a bigger number from what we did the entire last year. So definitely our target is one and a half to two X from what we did last year. Now, uh, having said that, we have got almost 50% of what we or almost what we achieved in the entire last year in the first quarter. But going forward in the next three quarters, we are trying to, you know, match up at least to one and a half to two X of uh, to FY21-22. So that's where we are looking at a better number coming in uh, and, you know, looking at a number which will be double, almost double to what it, we did last year. Will it be price-led or volume-led? If you can give us a sense of what kind of price hikes have you taken already, if you're talking about doubling booking value, how much will it, will it be driven by volumes as well for you since you just said three to four launches are expected this year itself? So uh, it is going to be both. Some places we've, you know, some places the price, uh, you know, in our current projects, we have managed to, you know, look at wherever we could hike up the price, we have hiked up the price. And uh, uh, new prices have been uh, launched at, a, you know, a rate which is sustainable uh, through the entire, uh, you know, cycle. And people are looking at those kind of prices, which is acceptable. So we have to look at volumes and we have to look at price both. So primarily for us is the overall value of the, uh, of the uh, you know, the turnover matters and the sales volume which matters. So we are looking at, uh, you know, those kind of projects. So overall, I feel uh, we will have a, uh, area-wise, we will sell more and at the same time, we will have a greater volume. Naval, I want to come back to that point. Why do you not think the sales value of 400 crore is sustainable? Because you still have 75 to 80 percent of the Ajmera Manhattan Vadala project to be sold. Plus, you've got three launches lined up in FI23. 
um, you know, two of them in Ghatkopar, one in Juhu. So if in Q1 you got the benefit of one launch and you could do 400 crores, considering you have so much of unsold inventory in the Vadala and launches coming up, why do you think a 400 crore revenue run rate is not sustainable, This at least for FI23, for the remaining three quarters? See, so every quarter doing a 400 crore revenue from a project, because this was a hike and a jump which we got from a you know one particular launch that was at Vadala, and obviously that was our... Uh, marquee project and we we have a greater volume whereas if i have to look at a ghatko per launch our total top line is about 250 crores our juve top line is 150 crores so if i have to look at the volumes as compared to vadala which was 1500 crores versus 250 and 150 crores so the volumes are is is not that uh, which will give me a sustenance growth but and we don't expect it to ha also happen because you know real estate is a very cyclical market sometimes we have a when we did a great launch and we have a greater volume to sell you do a better number but every every quarter or every year i would not be able to practically launch that kind of projects otherwise it's a market supply, uh, you know, demand supply situation. If I launch more projects, probably, it, you know, that area should also have that kind of demand. So we need to balance it out completely to see to it that we sustainably grow at the same time have a better number and a volume. So that's how we are managing and balancing it. Understood. So in that case, with the new launches, with the projects that you have in pipeline, what would your debt figure look like? It saw a decline of 25 crores on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, but still the last known figure was around 800 crore rupees. What is the debt outlook looking like for the rest of the year? So debt uh, would almost be remaining uh, more or less here and there, but we our main focus is, uh, you know, to probably even if we take debt, it will be a project-based debt because we need to pay to immediately for the premiums and, you know, so that we can uh, register the project and sell it. So that kind of debts only come on project to project basis. So even if we increase, let's say if I'm taking the Ghatko per project, probably there will be an incremental in debt, but that will be, you know, uh, restricted to that very particular project, which will be paid or repaid from that very project itself. So we are not too worried on debt because, you know, overall we are seeing a great uh, uh, sales revenue coming in the next three to four years, which will take care of the debt. So we are not too worried because these debts are project basis. Mm. Uh, let me come back to uh, the Vadala project since that's the big one. 1,500 crore is the total size of that 75% is still unsold. So we're looking at a number of 1,100 to 1,200 crore of inventory that you will be sitting on over the next, you know, a uh, couple of quarters as the project appear, you know, approaches completion. You know, there is a lot of talk of oversupply in on the eastern side, this Vadala, Parel, etc. region. So how confident are you about being able to sell uh, the balance, uh, you know, the balance uh, volume in uh, Vadala? And how many years do you think it will take for you to realize this balance amount of 1100-1200 crores? See, this project is a 40-story, 40 45-story, uh, you know, tower, which, uh, you know, today currently we are under basement level. And we have, uh, you know, Vadala as a micro market has been developed and established really great because of its connectivity to the entire city of Bombay. And, uh, you know, I personally believe that people at large today want to look at open spaces more than having at a single building project. So uh, with the Vadala, when we have a 100-acre parcel, a great openness coming in, the preference of buyers come to such projects. And that is where we are seeing such kind of, you know, sustained uh, sales momentum also happening month on month. Uh, so going forward also, uh, we see that today, you know, we will be able to finish this project in terms of construction in the next three to four years time. So uh, we still have a longer way to go with, you know, 25% of sales already done just by the first quarter. We are looking at, you know, good numbers coming at least in the next one and a half, two years, we should be able to sell uh, about 60 to 70 percent of the project and then it will sustainably go on till the end. By then we will launch another tower which will take care of our volumes and sales going forward. Okay. All right, Dhawal, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us and taking us all to, uh, through all those details. Uh, well, that's the word coming in from Ajmer Realty. But